Well, <clears throat> got about 30 minutes left of, uh, of legal, but uh, I know it's going to start getting dark quick because it's overcast again, but um, the wind never really, it's still blowing pretty decent um, again, but uh, honestly, uh, I had that flurry of activity right uh, right first after I got in the blind, and, and uh, then it's been super slow ever since. I don't know what's going on. Um, I don't know if, you know, I mean, if they're up and moving and they're just sticking to the thick cover, or uh, or what the deal is. But uh, there's not even any does out here right now, which is kind of surprising. But uh, just gonna keep grinding it out. Hopefully something happens here yet. Uh, yet this evening, if not maybe back at it tomorrow we'll see here but um i'm gonna keep pushing i'll take you all along thanks everybody for watching um this episode of uh, wildest streams tv if you haven't uh go back and check out some of our past ones we've got some pretty good uh youth hunts that we had earlier this year that were super cool and uh we've been updating everybody with weekly uh weekly episodes try to stay on track with uh, how our seasons are going so go back and check them out if you haven't uh, yeah we'll keep grinding around thanks for watching i'm all set up we'll see how it goes i'm looking forward to it um, feels good out um, you know breeze is blowing steady but not blowing like it has been the past couple days there's wrecks of blue sky and i think it's even going to get better as the day goes on so we're going to see um been quite a few deer coming out of that west bedding area so i'm quite a bit closer to that now like um hammer the last two times it showed up right here bumping does and then not come any further than this than this plot here so um if he does and then again i had that uh you know 3:30 yesterday or so i had a picture of that big seven pointer and also um that this big uh, really super old eight pointer that i've had on the farm for years um <clears throat> show back up and they came out of that west bedding bumping does and made it to right here below the pond so um i'm hoping maybe um from here i can see just to the other side of the pond there and uh I can kind of see over the hill down towards the clover plot, so I'm really hoping that this gives me a little bit of an advantage. And if he comes bumping does out there again and uh, shows up right in here, then I'm gonna be right, right in his wheelhouse. So we'll see what happens. Um, obviously, the only thing that I'm giving up, uh, wind, wind is good. I got straight west, uh, which is blowing me back out over the CRP here, and then. Uh, like I said, it's supposed to switch around um, almost to the southwest, which would actually blow me kind of back up the hill, which is even better yet. So I'm hoping. Um, again, had his picture on this camera right here uh, at this morning, headed west or headed towards this pond um, at like 4:28 this morning. So I'm hoping he's bedded somewhere over there to the west, and he does the same thing tonight and uh, pushes does up out of that bedding area or out of the southwest corner. And, We'll get a crack at him, but uh, it's kind of nice uh, to have two shooters back here now with that aid and then hammer. And then also, obviously, it's the time of year you just never know what might show back up. I mean, I've been getting different bucks on camera um, the last couple days, about about every day, a different one showing up. So definitely excited for this. It feels good out. Uh, can't wait to take you along here and see what happens.
All right, I made it back to the truck. Got changed out of the hunting gear, but uh, I didn't do a closing interview in the blind because ended up having some deer real close. Um, had a really nice eight pointer uh, come in, bumping does, grunting. Um, I saw him coming along the bottom and then he came right up into the plot looking for, um, looking at those does, bumping them around, grunting. And then he ended up working his way down along the pond. Um, so kind of cool thing is, is I've been wondering how some of the deer have been making it to the top plot without me seeing them from that tower blind. And I figured out how they're coming out of that west bedding straight over to the pond. And because we're so dry over here, um, that pond is probably like six feet low. It's, it's bad. I hope it doesn't freeze out. But anyway, they're going along the pond bank is what they're doing where it's dry. And then they're getting right into the top plot and they're bypassing all of their... Um, all my cameras and everything on the normal paths that they walk on normally that water is like clear up to the bank and um, Then they normally don't go that way, but they're doing it now so anyway, I scooted out of there and uh, Had to wait till after dark pack up everything and scoot out of there and uh, got back over here. So We'll keep grinding it out. That was a nice buck tonight. I hope I don't regret not uh, making an attempt at him, but uh, I know there's bigger out here. I know hammers out here somewhere, and uh, so is that big, that other big giant eight pointer. So I'm gonna keep after it. Appreciate everybody watching, and uh, we'll keep taking it along, um, just showing you what we enjoy and what we love to do. Um, it's a super fun time of year to chase these critters around. So we'll keep bringing it to you. Thanks again.